professional organizer from theinspiredoffice.com. And I, like you, am always getting rid of things. Uh, just because I'm an organizer doesn't mean my home is effortlessly minimal and organized. It takes a lot of thought and digging deep every single day because as long as things come into my life, things have to go out of my life. That's, that's what I preach and it is what I practice, especially when I go through my home with a fine tooth comb and come up with things to get rid of for the sake of making space in my life and for the sake of making these videos because I don't just wanna sort of get rid of things for myself anymore, but I want to share with the world what I'm getting rid of in hopes that my unloading of a certain item will inspire you to do the same with something similar that you've been hanging on to for too long for identical reasons. I'm getting rid of some plant pots today. So I live in a condo. I I love the outdoors. I love getting my hands in the dirt. I am not so much able to do that because I live in a condo. Um, but a hobby I've had for 10 years or so now is making terrariums. Make big, beautiful terrariums, actually bigger than this. And I've noticed the, the more I get into making terrariums, the less I have potted plants. Once upon a time, I had potted plants everywhere for as long as I can remember. I've had potted plants in my life. There's one plant in particular in my home right now that I've had since, since I was in high school and it's still thriving. But it's really the, it's only one of two potted plants because I have a lot of green in my home but it's in the form of terrarium. So I've had these three uh, really beautiful pots sitting in the crawl space of my condo for years now and they, they're big, they're, behemoths they take up a lot of real estate and I finally finally admitted to myself that I'm just not doing potted plants anymore therefore I don't need plant pots so I've got a friend who's spoken for one of these the other two are going to the thrift store so my challenge for you today goes out to everybody who maybe once had a hobby that they're not so into anymore and there are residual items and objects left over from that hobby that you, yeah, you may want to make the excuse of one day maybe I'll get back into it and I'll want to return to these products and, and items, but at the end of the day, you haven't used them in a certain number of months or years. So I challenge, I challenge you to let those things go and just simply make room in, in your space, your closet, your crawl space, your drawers for empty space or to be filled by, by new hobbies and passions of yours. So if that rings true as I'm talking it through, please share in the comments the item or items that you are finally ready to let go of after watching me get rid of about, you know, this much real estate of plant pots. And of course, I invite you to stop by the inspiredoffice.com for countless, countless more videos, blog posts, articles, what have you, on going minimal, decluttering, uh, organizing your life, organizing your office, your paper. There's so much there for you. Again, this is Casey Patey of The Inspired Office. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.